With an ever-complex Muslim situation in the UK in the wake of Brexit and the recent terrorist attacks, four Muslim imams have accompanied UK Cardinal Nichols to the Vatican to meet with Pope Francis. I think it's going to be one of the most powerful uh, messages that will go out to the Muslim world, that the Christian communities of the world are our friends. Here they are welcoming us into the holiest of places to meet uh, the greatest leader that they have within their tradition, uh, being hospitable and showing true Christian hospitality and good neighborliness. And I think uh, the Muslim world ought to reciprocate that. We will be thanking him for his great support that has always been received by the Muslim community along with all other communities having faith or having no faith. The acceptance of others by Pope Francis is also practiced by Cardinal Nichols. He says there is a pathway to be walked towards tolerance of religions in the UK. And right now, Catholics want to share their story with the Muslim world. Cardinal Nichols explained that in the UK, Catholicism was originally a banned faith, then persecuted against, reluctantly given space, and now finally is an accepted faith and a major contributor to society. I think at, at this time, uh, Christian-Muslim dialogue is particularly important and in, in a strange way Catholic-Muslim dialogue in Britain is very important because the history of the Catholic community in Britain is one of being a minority and of having lived with 400 years of anti-Catholic prejudice. The goal of the visit is to engage in interreligious dialogue with the Muslim community, allowing both religions to not only speak, but be heard by the neighboring party, both on the part of the Imams and Pope Francis and Cardinal Nichols. Similarly, the Cardinal who is with us, his hospitality and generosity and his wisdom has made it possible that tomorrow the Muslim community of the United Kingdom is going to make a history. History has been made at the Vatican and there are many more opportunities for this to continue as the Pope has trips to Egypt and Bangladesh planned this year to carry on this dialogue with the Muslim community at large.